as india has technology to put a helicopter on what is that a b one second what is that okay a spacecraft okay uh, on the on the moon and on Mar- in mars orbit uh, this implies india can make icbms as part of will as per will is that true also if the earth's perimeter is 40000 kilometers how can a 13000 icbm reach a desired target on earth okay what is the earth's perimeter um let's look it up <laughs> let's look it up okay let's look up earth's perimeter um earth perimeter earth perimeter is uh, 40000 kilometers okay fantastic 40000 kilometers all right um uh, first of all let's address the first part of the question first india has the technology to put a spacecraft on the moon and in mars orbit it may mean, it means india can make icbms of course india can make icbms you can use the pslv as an icbm you can of course you can use the pslv as an icbm but understand that when you are building the pslv it takes a lot of time and the pslv has multiple stages some of these are liquid fueled if you want to use a rocket as a weapon you want solid fuel ro- fueled rockets because liquid fuel will evaporate you can't keep liquid fuel in a, lo- in a rocket for long because it is cryogenic it is at very low temperatures liquid oxygen liquid nit- liquid so not, not nitrogen usually it's oxygen or 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 hydrogen or some hypergolic fuel or whatever hypergolic fuel is possibly solid fuel but see liquid fuel is generally liquid gases you can't store liquid gases for for a very long period of time so a pslv can be used as an icbm but in 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 warfare if it is ever used icbms if you want them to be reliable and available on demand at 5 minutes notice you want solid fueled icbms and that's a, a little more challenging i think india already has a technology to make an, a, an icbm a missile that can reach any part of the of the world with solid fuel yeah so india anyway has icbm technology no question about it um perimeter is 40000 km how can a 13000 km icbm reach any target on on the earth see it's 40000 km at the equator at higher latitudes at lower latitudes it's going to be different so it's a, it's just a question of geometry but if you take a, an actual globe and you point and you and you and you map a straight line a curved it's not it's 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 not euclidean ge- euclidean geometry anymore it's riemannian geometry because it is curved surfaces but if you actually calculate it it's going to be it's going to be enough to reach reach any desired location of importance 